Hey everyone, a college student has two different jobs. Her combined work schedules consist of no more than 48 hours in one week. Which graph best represents the solution set for all possible combinations of X, the number of hours she worked at her first job, and Y, the number of hours she worked at her second job in one week? So basically what I'm going to do is set up a... Uh, uh, X is her first job, and Y is her second job. And just reading this, I can say, well, the, the sum of her first and her second can't be bigger than 48. And can it equal 48? Yes, it can equal 48 but it can't be more than 48. So it has to be less than 48. Now since this is linear, I'm going to go ahead and solve for y here and subtract x from both sides of the equation. So you get y is less than or equal to negative x uh, plus 48. Looking at this, that means my slope is negative 1. My y-intercept, or b, equals 48. So the y-intercept is 48, which is here. This is your y. y-intercept. These two. These two do not follow that. So I'll just cross those out. Um, now we have to see if we're going to shade up or down. So it says that y must be less than this. So <coughs> if I pick... Um, a, a good trick for this is uh, to put your pen on the line somewhere and just tell me where to stop and you stop and if it says less than than sorry if it says less than draw down if it says greater than you draw up and if you draw down this would be your solution set and you just shade over that where you drew down. If it said greater than, let's look at this one. You would uh, put your pen somewhere on this line. It doesn't matter. Let's do it here and draw up. And then that's the part you would shade. Now, uh, usually, so this would not be right because we want less than. But let's also do another way of just picking some points. So if you want to pick some points, you can test uh um, points. We think it's uh, this one, so let's just pick this easy one here, 6-6, six, six, and look at this. So if we pick 6-6, six, six, this point here is called 6-6, six, six. then you would have 6 plus 6 is less than or equal to 48, and that's true. Um, let's pick a point here, so I'm going to try to pick an easy one. Let's pick this point right here. So x is 48, and y is 6. That is not less than 48. That's bigger, so this graph would not work. So you can either do my trick or just uh, pick a point and test it. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.